So Uplift Professional is an approved of, or rather if I say an official provider of IME US. And we have been providing this um, like online training for various um, uh, international accounting professional courses. Apart from CMA, we are into CPA, enrolled agent, and very soon we will be also launching ACCA UK. So uh, the main motto of Uplift Professional out here is to help each and every working professionals and academic students who are striving to achieve a professional certification for themselves in order to excel in their career. And our role out here is to guide you, to support you at the every step of achieving the respective uh, course for which you have approached to Uplift. So now talking about the US CMA classes uh, in uh, Uplift, if I say, let me know if you can uh, just see my, like if my screen is visible to you. Uh, this is the next slide. I hope my screen is yes, visible. It is, right. and it is yes, visible. Um, thank you. Mm -hmm. So now talking about the, up, like, uh, like how Uplift will be helping you with the CMA program. Let me just quickly brief you about uh, the classes, the training that we will be delivering to you. So we are providing live online classes and these live online interactive sessions are conducted by our senior mentors. Uh, in today's session, we have uh, Rohit Batra, who is one of our support faculty, and he will be taking through the remaining slides. So apart from uh, like the senior faculties, we have Rohit. We also have another bio, like support faculty, uh, Mr. Al Shafi. So they will be helping you out with your mock assignments, with your doubt clearing sessions. Yes, it's visible. Perfect. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this session. We we're talking about CMA. CMA is again affiliated from IMA USA. So what CMA covers? CMA basically covers all the 12 core competencies in finance that are individually important as well as collaboratively hold most more significance in an organization. So if I talk about the competencies that are covered in CMA are financial reporting, analysis, internal controls, decision support, and accumulating all of it working in an ethical way. Every individual aspect is individually important in an organization and collaborating to get the financial reporting and internal controls that hold a lot of significance in an organization. So that's where CMA, <clears throat> sorry, that's where CMA signifies most of the importance and gives you a lot of learnings around these 12 core competencies. Right, moving on. Once you grab a CMA certification, you have list of titles that get entailed in front of your name. So those can be research analysts, might be cost accountants, legal advisors, so on and so forth. So that's that are the limited titles that we have on this slide. There are no limitations on the titles. Once you hold the CMAs, there is no stoppage to grow up the ladder in an organization and control the finances in your organization ethically and in line with the accounting policies. Again, the major MNCs that are looking to hire CMAs, you have on board Morgan Stanley. I won't say these are the MNCs, these are the top industry players. Those are actually not only working in an industry, they are actually pulling the economy together. So those can be Morgan Stanley, Standard Chartered Bank, EY, Barclays, Amazon, KPMG, so on and so forth. And on the right hand side, you can see even the big fours, not even a single big, a single company from the big four is entailing itself to not hire CMAs. So every organization you step in, there is always a welcome done for a CMA candidate. Moving on, imagine yourself holding a CMA degree and earning 
in terms of economic benefits that you get after you achieve a CMS certification. So these are some of the average salaries that has been gathered together to show you what can you you can what benefit you can get after attaining this CMS certification. So uh, that excuse me. I think the PPT is not moving. Yes, oh. the slides are not moving. Okay, so what screen you are at? I'll just stop share. And... I'm at slide two. I mean, we are doing slide two. Okay, so I'm on the salary yeah, component. It's, it's, it's perfect. Perfect. So as you can see on my screen, we have different titles showing up the average salary collection on these different titles. But these are certainly the average numbers. Probably the more you uh, possess the more experience you hold with the CMS certification, these will just be the numbers and you can possess even more packages to your pockets. Now, what CMA covers to give you that extent so that you can earn a little edge in your CV and earn relatively more than your colleagues. So part one, we cover all about financial reporting decisions planning, budgeting, and forecasting, performance management, cost management, internal controls, and how technology will help you in financial planning. So these are more related to FPNA and financial reporting. So if you see around the weightage for each topic, it is almost equally distributed, 15 or 20% for the each subject. So no single topic is not important and every single individual topic is relatively similarly important to cover while you appear before the exam. Moving on to part two that we have strategic, strategic finance management. We have financial statement analysis that covers our, all the uh, ratios and everything, corporate finance, decision analysis, risk management, investment decision and professional ethics so if you look at around the strategic financial management it is more relative to senior management striving decisions based on what analysis so part two actually helps senior management think on making decisions so that those can be driven through ratio analysis those can be driven through investment decisions so the, these are the significant topics that we cover holistically in CMA. Right, moving on. I'll just, uh, my slides are moving, right? Yes. Perfect, perfect. So these are some of the corporates which recently hired fresh CMAs. So again, while you join CMA after you have a completion of CMA certification trust me there will be a lot of companies looking to hire you why because you bring in more knowledge more experience around the table that helps company work ethically and professionally submit the financial results for the organization in the streets so some of the example you have in front is these are the recent corporates that hired CMAs so these are the Fossil Group, Wipro, DXC, Cognizant, Oracle, VNY Mellon, and Lead Squared. So it might be some of the corporates that have been mentioned here. There are no limitations to the corporates welcoming CMAs. On the top of my mind, I remember Cvent recently acquiring 20 CMAs at one slot. Moving on. So what would be our eligibility we can apply for, so we can apply for CMA course? So CMA is a certification that welcomes after you had obtained the bachelor degree and you hold a two years of professional experience in accounting or in finance. Right. The exam pattern that we have is so CMA exam pattern rolls around two sections. So section one is completely objective questions that we have 100 multiple choice questions. And then it is followed by two 30 minute essay questions. So just make sure once you appear for the multiple choice questions. Sorry. 
once you appear for 100 multiple choice questions you definitely have to clear 50% of the exam to jump to appear in the essay questions and how many times the exam is conducted in an year so exam is conducted three times in an year so given the windows are january february may june and september october moving on now why we need uplift to help us provide cma certification so with uplift you get experienced faculties buddy mentors guidance on each and every step collectively if i sum up all the advantages with the uplift you get a good collective result so there is a 94 pass percent rate that we have from uplift for all the pass out students we have we have been providing recordings for each live classes that are being conducted on daily basis so any for any case you miss out opting a class on any of the day you have the opportunity to take recordings of that class and get through the topic that has been discussed no re registration fees is required probably i don't think you will have to have the chance of getting into this stage because most of the people have a opportunity to uh, have a chance to clear cma at the very first opportunity moreover scholarships are also given from uplift basis on the merits and the classes are being conducted from monday to saturday for one and a half hours starting at 9:30 pm till 11 pm and we have veterans in the room who provide all these classes uh, hi rohit kalyani yeah. this side uh, yeah. before we uh, proceed on the ima slide we have with us two of our brilliant students ajinkya and sukjeet so ajinkya yeah. is qualified cma us so we would want both ajinkya and sukjeet to share their journey of us cma a little bit about their experience with all others so and after that you can continue with the ima slide sure not a problem yeah. so uh, ajinkya uh, are you there am i audible to you uh, yes kalyan thank you thank you ajinkya for being a part of this session tonight we uh, we would be glad if you could share your journey with uplift and how uh, see like since you are a working professional we have couple of working professionals with us today so there are many questions in their mind how cma would help help them so i we think that you would be the best example so can you just share your journey of uh, cma and how it has helped you over to you ajinkya so thank you kalani for this uh, opportunity uh, let me just introduce myself uh, i am ajinkya i am from uh, pune and uh, i have cleared my cma in the first attempt with the help of uplift pro apart from that i am uh, as kalani told that i am a working professional i work at infosys i am a lead professional there uh, for delivery and operations uh, so cma is one of the certificates which is going to help you to gain like a higher management position earlier i was uh, at a lower a uh, grade of the 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 organization but now uh, due to the cma uh, certification which i did uh, so i completed my cma certification in 2021 and then after that i have been moved to a higher management level now basically my uh, the level of professionalism which i basically follow uh, in infosys is at a top top level so cma is one of the one of the courses which is going to help you with that and apart from that uh, the coaching which uplift is going to provide you is i guess one of the best coaching institutes which we have here so the strategies and all which i followed during my during my journey was basically to attend the classes which the uplift provide so attend the classes regularly that's the one thing which i rigorously did apart from that they do have a question bank and uh, and the and the and the, the daily tests or the weekly tests which they provide so that it is very important for you guys to uh make sure that you give those tests apart from that if anybody has any specific questions i can also answer that so if you have any questions on that uh hi ajinkya this is sonit 
just want to ask one thing, like in a question, bank which we have. Uh, so, uh, the, uh, when you mark the questions, uh, when you mark the answer, so there is a um, commentary or the explanation is also explained that why this answer is correct or uh, what would be the correct answer, this kind of explanation. Or uh, you, you need to reach out for every, if you didn't understand anything, you need to connect with the, uh, with the uh, teacher, I mean, um, or uh, it is explained there. Yeah, so basically, uh, both the options are open at Uplift. Like, uh, the teachers are very, very flexible with, uh, with the amount of explanations they provide. So that is one of the biggest advantages. So let me tell you my personal experience. Uh, when I uh, started coaching with Uplift, the classes used to start at 9.30 and they uh, till like 10, 10, 10.30. So it was like a 1 to 1 hour, 15 minutes class. After that, the professors used to wait for like nice 20, 25 minutes to solve and clear your doubts. That's one option which Uplift provides. Apart from that, if uh, if you want to, if you're doing like a self study uh, at your place, then you also get uh, the answers for each of the questions, and why these options uh, are correct or why that option is incorrect, you get a detailed explanation at at your place as well, uh, with the amount of software which they which the Uplift provide. I guess they provide for Glam as of now. But uh, that's the software which, which they're using right now. But the, the software will give you each and every uh, explanation for a correct as well as the incorrect answers. Okay, thank you. Okay. And so with adding to your question, whatever questions, uh, question bank we have in the class, whichever is discussed in the class, faculties are very open to explain the reason behind the option they have been choosing. No, no, no. Uh, my actually question is related to when uh, when the person is doing a self study. That time, if uh, if he came yeah, even at, with even at question, that time, right? Even at well, that time, if you come around a question wherein you are not able to understand the um, explanation behind uh, that chosen option or the answer, you can definitely reach out to the faculty or the body mentors in the group or on the WhatsApp group. They will be happily. Uh, they will be happy to answer your Query. Okay. So no question, uh, no just, question. Yeah. Yeah, continue. Yeah, ahead, okay. Sumit, to answer your question, let me tell you, we have options for both the live classes and for flexible. Like we, we have a flexible module also for people who are busy, who are unable to attend the live classes. So in case if you're like in case if anybody is going on a flexible mode of studies, we have a WhatsApp group where the students are connected to each other. The mentors are at, like in that group. And as I said in the beginning, we also have doubt clearing sessions. So if ever you have any doubts, any questions in your mind, you can always reach out to uh, the uh, teachers, to the buddy mentors. You can even uh, like address uh, your questions to them via mail uh, on WhatsApp or call. So that support uplift will be providing it to you. Thank you. I hope that answers your question. Yes. Okay. Uh, do we, we since we have a uh, like couple of uh, working professionals out here? If you have any questions to ask to a Jinkya in terms of CMA, you may please uh, like come up with your question. Hi, Jinkya. This is Jay Kumar. My name is Jay Kumar. Uh, how how difficult or uh, the difficulty level the subject? So see, uh, regarding the difficulty level, uh, see, it is a certification which, which has value. So it would be a little bit difficult. It would be, it will test you. It will test you. It will test your logics. So, and you should have, you should be hungry enough to like uh, make sure that you give you 100%. And uh, I'm sure that you will be able to crack it. So there is. It difficulty okay. level basically depends upon like person to person. Like there could be a topic wherein I I I might feel that topic is a bit difficult for me, but there could be other people other people who might find that topic easy. So difficulty level is basically a bit of a subjective term, but then uh, it's better you you focus on all the concepts and uh, you do it consistently. Just just give your consistent time, and uh, you should be able to crack it uh, in the, in the first attempt. 
Okay, how, how about the questions in the real exam when you compared with the mock? It was almost a similar so, pattern. Yes, so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you honestly that the mock exams would be one of the best judge uh, when, you, when you give the final exams. So the, the performance which you are going to give in the mock exam would be one of the reflections of your final exams as well. And that they're pretty similar. The mock exams are pretty, pretty similar with the original exams. May it be the, the MCQs or may it be the, the essay type questions which we have. So it's very important that you practice well initially when you're, when you're doing uh, classes and when you're uh, like doing a self-study. And after that, it is also important that you give maximum mock test as well. So that you're, you're pretty used to all the, all the exam uh, familiar. You're, you're basically familiar with the exam uh, conditions. So it's extremely important if you do that. And mock exams is going to help you uh, to, to excel in your uh, CMA exam. Right, okay. All right, thank you. So I think I have one question. So along with your uh, job, like how you manage uh, to study, I mean, like how much hours you're putting into the studies? I mean, so, so th that is a question which, uh, which also bothered me initially. And uh, uh, it is it is actually a bit difficult to manage with your jobs and month end activities coming in to study as well. You do have a like a learning gap as well. I, I had a learning gap. Uh, so but then what I used to do was uh, uh, I basically did the course during the COVID period. It was basically in COVID uh, 2021 when we got the first lockdown. So initially I do a UK shift. So what I used to do that I used to sacrifice my breaks. Uh, and I used to take breaks uh, when uh, basically I used to manage the breaks uh, with the with the classes class timings which I, which I had. So the classes used to work from nine thirty to like ten thirty. So I used to make sure that I don't breaks uh, before that. And my whole one hour was dedicated to that uh, uh, during that nine thirty to ten thirty session. So that was the first approach which I used to follow. The second one was uh, I hardly missed any of the classes with uplifts. So I used to do classes regularly and uh, whatever questions and uh, whatever uh, small assignments they give you in the class, make sure you attempt those assignments because that is that is very important and that gives you maximum learning and that gives you maximum output of the class as well. And apart from that, uh, you, you need to sacrifice a little bit of your sleep as well. So that's what I did. Uh, during the morning hours, my, my shift used to start at about 12 o'clock 12, uh, in the noon. So I used to dedicate like one hour daily in the morning to solve any of the questions. And I tried to solve maximum MCQs during like Saturdays and Saturdays and Sundays. Just give like three hours in on Saturday, three hours on Sunday. And that's how uh, I managed my workload and my sort of CMA certification practice. Uh, apart from that, there were like a couple of mock tests as well, which Uplift conducted. And just make sure you attempt everything. Because you might not know like what is going to help you in, in your final exams. And I remember that one of the questions which I uh, which I did in one of the one of the sessions with Uplift, uh, it was basically during the classes as well. We had a lot of discussion with, with one of the one of the professors. But then that same like the similar question basically appeared in the examination and uh, it, it it basically re I recollected that situation which which professor told me and that, that is going to help you in future as well. So uh, that, that's how I plan my day. So sacrifice your sleep a little bit and then make sure you attend your classes regularly. Give give all the mock tests and give like one hour daily and like probably a couple of hours on Saturday, Sundays. So that is going to help you to manage your uh, sort of journey along with your professional life. Thanks, Ajinti. Thanks for sharing. We have Malesh with us. He is having a question. So uh, Malesh is asking, he has done his BCom in 1999, almost 20 years back. And there is a knowledge gap. So uh, does he need to uh, refer 12 standard books? Ajinkya, what do you have to say on this? So, uh, so, uh, so, so what, what is your professional like? professional designation you're working on currently that would be a bit more uh, insight for me if, if you can tell that so are you if, if you're working I, in the accounting field probably you you would be used to all the accounting concepts and uh, I, I guess there is no need to go back on that on on to 12 standard accounting concepts i guess but uh, 
it would be a little bit uh, of handy if, if you can revise a bit of concepts but then uh, if if you are used to the concept in your professional life probably that that would suffice uh, here as well okay. malesh like let me tell you uplift is providing basic accounting classes so people who are having a gap of 15 to 20 years or like cma is a course which welcomes both commerce and non commerce uh, professionals so if anybody is coming from a non non commerce background or having a gap of 15 20 years for them we have basic accounting classes where you can brush up your accounting skills and you do not need to refer to class 12 books as ajinkya said a little bit of accounting knowledge should be fine and our support faculty our buddy men Mentors are there. We have Rohit with us. He's one of our buddy mentor. We have uh, Mohammad Al Shafi. So they will be guiding you with the accounting knowledge. Uh, Rohit, are you there? Can you just uh, throw some lights on it since you have previously conducted yep. a couple of accounting classes? Yep, yep, yep. Definitely. So how it goes? Even if though you have a gap of twenty years or twenty five years, I've seen people doing their CMAs and other certifications also while they have. like 25 or 30 years of experience so once you are a working professional most of the time your concepts are already thorough it's just we need a brush up so once we enter in the certification the basic agenda we start is brushing up the concepts so once you are accumulated ac better equipped with the concepts we can go further in the classes and learn more about the cma so the basic concepts you need to be very clear about are the basic concepts from the 12th standard i would say or the basic uh, concepts that we use in our day in day out life on the organization so nothing much you should be worried upon it, either you have a 10 years of experience or 15 years of experience or 20 years of experience that is equally measured it doesn't matter if that you hold a 20 or 25 years of gap in the knowledge and the uh, last uh, qualification that you had it's just the will that you should have and zeal to learn okay thank you sir yeah, just yeah, just a point which i would like to add here uh, because you are a working professional and you have got a tons of experience uh, into your professional life that is going to help you when you are doing this that essay type questions because they require more of a practical approach right and they require a situational analysis which needs to be done so that is going to help you as well when you are doing the essay type questions Yep. Oh, okay. Thank you. So don't hold yourself back that you have a qualification, a post qualification. You are already have a twenty five, twenty years of gap. So that should not hold you back to earn the CMA certification. Uh, do we have okay, any more questions to ask uh, to Ajinkya? Ah, uh, yeah. There is one question in the chat box, uh, Kalyan. So, did you appear in part two okay. exam first? Uh, no, I did part one and part two. So that that's how I did. So I did clear part one initially, and then I followed by part two. Okay. Uh, I'll just add one more point out here. Let's see. For CMA US, there is no such uh, rule that uh, you need to go for part one and then go for part two. This is the preference of individual. And uh, what in generally we have seen. as per my experience also like normally people go for part 2 first and then go for part 1 so that's completely fine whether you go for part 2 or part 1 ultimately you will be covering both the groups and holding the certification and as i am themselves also say there is no rule that you have to go sequence wise anybody can opt for any paper at any point of time all right yep uh, even i appear for part 2 first Yeah, the reason I appeared so, for part uh, one was I did, did the coaching for part one initially, so that was complete. That's the only reason I appeared for part one. Okay, what we can do is that uh, we can move on to the remaining slides, and at the end we can take up some more FAQs. Right. Okay. Sure. All right. Yeah. I'll Thank continue with that then. Thank you, Ajay. Thank you so much. Uh, just be or uh, be stay with us. I think people are like still there are certain more questions in their mind. So we can take the FAQs at the end of uh, the PPT. Yeah, sure, Kalyan. Yeah, uh, Rohit, you can uh, talk about the IMA part, and then we can go to the FAQ round. Perfect. So the IMA, we have a certain fee structure also, because certification comes at certain fee. So now we have 
two categories where the fee structure is divided one is the professionals and other is the students so professionals we have membership of 260 dollars and similarly the entrance we have a 280 dollars and for each part we need to shed out 460 dollars for each part so that collectively will have to shed around 1400 1500 dollars for a professional similarly for students we have a discounted fee for uh, membership is provided at 135 dollars entrance is 210 and each exam is paid at 345 dollars but with uplift wherein we are the affiliated partners of IMA there are discounts available for each student so the discounted IMA fee for uplift for students and for professionals is it's segregated in a different percentage manners so for professional you need to pay almost thousand dollars and for students that ends up around six hundred dollars so all in all you have a saving of around four to five hundred dollars that sums up around forty to fifty thousand aina rupees Now we have some of the students that have passed their CMAs from uplift. And I can see myself and Anjinkya out there. All right. Moving ahead. So those are the certain benefits that we have and uh, also with uplift we have the placement support as well wherein you will be shared all the job opportunities that uplift come across and uplift talks about with the different organizations and share with the students those have been part of the uplift group so that way also you will be updated and concise on the knowledge that is required to clear the interviews for different organizations I'm just juggling around the uh, presentations because my system is uh, creating some problem. So again, we have a couple of uh, students. Those are on definitely on the call. So Gunjan and Ajinkya, who already provided, shed some light on the CMA and how you can go about clearing your CMA certification. Uh, Rohit, can you just go, move on to the placement slide? Yeah, yep, uh, I'm I'm just like to, like, I would like to yeah sure uh here i would like to add on like uplift is having a placement uh, like you know uh, support apart from that uh, we also help people like can students to get rehired by the job opportunities which i mean us shares so i mean us is having their own recruitment drive and being their official partners they do share with us the respective job opportunities which is circulated among the student group and uh, interested candidates what they need to do is that they need to share their updated resume with us which will be forwarded to i mean us and if your profile matches i mean us will be getting in touch with you for the respective job opportunities Thank you, Rohit. You can continue. Yeah. So we have different uh, students that have cleared their exam from CMA and are working all across the globe. So if you can see, we have people working in Belgium. We have people have working in Vietnam. And all across India also we have different uh, many students working in different parts in different regions of india so with cma you get another opportunity to open the gate to travel the world as well in your professional career with this i would like to end my presentation and hope you all will earn the cma certification all the very best we would like to welcome your questions now. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. So, if anybody is having any questions, they may please, um, like, you know, come up with their questions. We would like to take it up.
No question. Hello. Yeah, I have a question. This is Sumit. Yes, please. May I know um, your name? Sumit. Sumit. Okay. Yes, Sumit. Yeah, please. Go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> when uh, any candidate enroll in your in this course, when mm -hmm. approve, then how much is the validity of the course uh, until the student pass, or is there any time uh, time limit? Okay. Uh, Sumit, let me tell you that uh, we don't we the service that we will be providing it to you or the training. If let me tell you, let me take uh, like uh, the training that you will be receiving from us. This comes with till you pass guarantee. As uh, uh, Rohit had uh, uh, previously said, there are no re-registration charges that like you know we have. So the support you will be getting from Uplift until you clear both the groups of your USCMA. So in terms of classes, in terms of recordings, access, you will, there is no such validity period. But yes, again, what we, what we believe is that, like, since this is a course which can be completed within a span of 9 to 12 months, although we are providing you with the uh, till you pass guarantee, even our motto is to help you to clear this program within 12 months. Now, just in case if you are unable to clear it within next 12 months, then definitely you can avail our services. And for that, Uplift will not be charging anything extra from you. Does that answer your question, Sumit? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Right. Any further you. questions? Uh, Aparna, do you, you have any questions? Yeah, yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, the recorded session, no, it's uh, all uh, full recorded session available like a previous class. If I want to go in advance, like, or it is a class wise recorded session available each day, or the previous batch recorded session is available. So the cloud, the recordings that you will be receiving it, it would be of the live classes that we conduct. Uh, so uh, the every live class is being recorded, and the same would be providing it to you, so that you are aware what exactly is uh, the current topic or the portions that are being taught in the class. You are up to date, and whenever you have any questions, if you want to reach out to the faculty, so you you are like you know they are aware of like the questions that you're coming up with it right okay got it and the uh how long this uh training how many months okay we go with one paper at a time so for each paper we deliver three to three and a half months training and if uh, and after the training is covered then we have uh, the next few weeks are utilized for conducting mocks for conducting doubt clearing sessions for students who would be writing the say, uh, like exam in the upcoming windows so it's three to three and a half months training that we provide for each paper right okay so if we plan to uh, aim the exam uh, uh, for january window when the uh, mm -hmm. registration and things should be aimed for okay now see suppose if you're going ahead with this course september october is the next window which is next to like which we will not suggest you to take for you take you like you know, go for the exam so definitely january would be the best when like best for you so you need to give yourself at least three to three and a half months of time to prepare for the course, to have a thorough understanding. Uh, as uh, um, like, you know, Ajinkya said, you need to practice questions because the more questions you practice, the more concept clarity you get. So January, February would be the suitable window for you to take the exam. Okay, for that, uh, the registration, uh, everything, can, we can yeah. do it January it's, uh, itself or prior yes. to that? Yes, you just need to uh, remember whenever, whichever window you are planning to write, whether it's Jan, Feb, May, June or September, October, 15 to 30 days before the respective exam window, you need to complete all your formalities. And we will be helping you out with it. If there is any discount from IMA US, that intimation will also be provided to all the students. And if you wish to avail the discount, we will help you. According to IMA, me it is 15 to 30 days before the exam window you need to complete the registration process all right okay thank you
Well, Aparna, do you have any questions? Learning. Yeah, hi, Aparna. Hello. Hello, actually, uh, uh, this is Sujan speaking. I have a question. Yeah, like, yes, uh, Sujan. Yes, like suppose uh, you want to write one part in January, February window and then another mm -hmm. part in uh, September, October window uh, in next year. Mm -hmm. So you can do that, mm -hmm. right? Yes, of course, you can do that. Okay. See, we normally, what, what we uh, suggest to all our students is to book the exam when your preparation is completely over, when you get a green signal from our mentors, when you perform your more, when your mock performance are good, you get a green signal from your buddy mentors also. So then you go ahead with the registration part because just for writing the exam, do not uh, book your seat because ultimately you will be making an investment. So our aim is to help you to get the best result from that investment of yours. So once we, you get a green signal from our teachers, then only you go for the registration. Okay, many thanks. Uh, yes, Aparna, you were asking some question. Hello. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Yes, please. Hello. Uh, it's Hello. Uh, Hemant. I'm Hemant and mine is not a good, but I have a question. That, uh, uh, I... I understand uh, uh, some English. Would I do uh, good for that? You understand English? and Like I did not understand your question, Heyman. Can you please repeat once again? Uh, I, uh, I have, uh, I am from Delhi and I, uh, I have no okay. English proper. Okay. Good. But uh, I can understand uh, some, some. Okay. So, Okay. This uh, so I have this question that uh, should I do uh, when I do this uh, course? Should I do better? Okay, I I got it, got it. Okay, Heman, see, uh, to be very honest, this is completely um like you know a calculated oriented course. Okay, like like I am sure Rohit is there to answer this question best. But from my point of view, I'll tell you. See, we will, the classes that we conduct, they, they, those are conducted in a very simple English, okay? okay. And uh, we make sure that each and every concept that is being taught in the class are understood for, to all the students. And, uh, just, uh, and just in case, if you have any difficulty in understanding, you can always reach out to our faculty. So do not worry about the communication part. It is, as you said, that you can understand English. So it's a very simple English. The classes are held. And if you have any questions, if you don't understand anything, you can always separately uh, reach out to Rohit or you can also check, uh, like uh, contact uh, uh, your buddy mentor, uh, Mohammed Al Shafi. Okay, and Anima, I, just to... I have second question that uh, I have uh, watched many videos uh, uh, USCME. That's why I am uh, doing that so I can ahead in my career. So, hello. See, uh, him, yeah, Heman. See, uh, we do understand communication is an essential part okay that like you know yeah. that we do understand but again i would say that uh, have confidence in yourself okay you can always work upon the areas where you feel that you are lacking behind and if you need any support any help for uh, from uplift we are there to help you now talk in terms of us cma is concerned as again i will repeat myself it's uh, we use very simple basic english um, like, you know, uh, it's taught in a very simple way uh, so that every student coming from uh, different backgrounds are able to grasp the, the concept. So um, just have confidence in yourself and uh, where you feel that you need to work upon. If you have any question, you can always get in touch with your coordinator. You can always get in touch with uh, your buddy mentor. Okay. 
and him and just to add on what kalyani mentioned in classes we talk about subject so irrespective of the no language when you have knowledge about the subject in english it is it makes you understand easily because what we are talking is day in day out work that we are doing in the organization so it shouldn't bother you yes, to understand and appear for the exam correct okay. and you will be getting the recording statement so you can always yeah. after the live class you can always go through the recordings and revise your portions okay and with uplift you get this advantage as well you have mentors class teachers and everyone to help you out wherever you get stuck okay. <clears throat> uh, hi kalyani i have a question like uh, yes, how is the uh, study procedure uh, or the classes procedure for the uh, the person who is already um, in <clears throat> already employed somewhere or uh, Um, is there any another procedure for a uh, um, students, uh, students or professionals? I mean, I am a professional, so mm -hmm. how, I can't join a class on every day. So how I would get the recordings? How my study is going with the flipped? What is the procedure for that? Uh, uh, I mean, I needs to get the recordings at the weekend, mm -hmm. or my classes would be only on a week. My live classes would be only in a weekend, or okay. it would be on a weekday. How I mean, it goes uh, with the professionals. The okay. the procedure. Yeah. Fine. Uh, very much. Uh, very much valid question. Now let me tell you that there is no segregation made out here in Uplift. all students are equal to us whether you are a fresher or a working professional or an academic student now the classes that we have we have a regular schedule from monday to saturday from 9 o'clock in the evening till 10:30 it's a one and a half hour class now just in case being a working professionals we understand you will be having your personal commitment there will be professional commitment so by any chance if you are unable to attend the live class recording will be provided to you the very next day and you will be getting recording of every class like every class recording would be sent to you the very next day in 24 hours the recording you will get to see the recording or uh, on like you know in your inbox you can save the recording revise the portion and if you are having an off on saturday you can always uh, join the classes on saturday and you can clear your doubts you can uh, attend the class but there is no segregation made it's a it's a one schedule that we follow and it is same for all uh, the student in respect of of being a professional or you are a student but recording is something that we will be sending it to you but again one more thing i would like to say out here since you will be getting the recording we always encourage you to be a part of the live class because when you are part of a live discussion 80% of your syllabus gets covered so try to attend as much like recording is there for your so like you know for your as a back end support but we encourage you to be a part of the live classes so when you attend the live class you will also get into a one on one discussion and that will actually make your preparation very much easier so but yes again as i understand you are a working professional so in cases where you are unable to attend the class you will get the recording we have uh, our admin team who will be getting in touch with you if you whenever whenever required you can get in touch with the respective team and reach out to them for your classes uh, like missed classes okay kalyani thank you yes welcome Do we have any more questions? Any questions? Uh, hello, I Hasib this side. Okay, would you please yes. explain more about prometric uh, centers? I mean, prometric. Uh, I, honestly, I am not. I understand what does it stand for, but could okay. you explain? I mean, okay. because I I reside in Kuwait. Okay, are okay. there any approved centers? Yes. Where do I yes. prometric? Yes, prometric centers are the exam centers where you will be writing your CM exam, and prometric centers are available uh, in more in most of the cities. 
Yeah, Kuwait is having a, a prometric center. Uh, Dubai is having a prometric center. Bahrain, Kuwait, uh, the Gulf countries, Saudi Arabia, they, are, they have prometric center. In India, talk if we, if we talk about all the metropolitan cities are having the prometric center. Uh, you can, uh, like, before you book any exam with the prometric center, you can always give them a call or you can make a personal visit and have a verify, um, like, you know, about the place and, uh, like, be rest assured, Kuwait is having uh, your center, so you can take the exam from uh, Kuwait. And for P students from India, uh, every metropolitan cities are having the prometric center, so you can book your exam from the respective metropolis uh, city you belong to. Great, that, that answers my question. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. But would be we will be provided the list, right? I mean, uh, we'll have the list yes. of yes, centers. we will help you. With, yeah. Yes, we will help you with the prometric details. You, you can uh, check with your respective coordinator. She will guide you with the prometric details. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. That answers the question. Any more questions? Okay, Gayatri is having a question. What kind of study material? Okay. Gayatri, uh, let me tell you about the study material. Uh, Uplift is an official provider of sergeant study material. So um, we provide sergeant study material and you will be receiving the sergeant uh, study material and um, test bank. Apart from that, Uplift is also having their own study material. So um, that completely depends upon you which material we, uh, we have separate uh, details for that. So we can get into like, uh, you can uh, speak to me after the class session or tomorrow, I'll explain to you the different packages that we have. Does that answer your question, Gayatri? Do we have any more questions? Yeah, someone was talking. Yes, Malish. Uh, sorry, your voice is not audible. Can you be a bit louder? Hello. You can write in chat if uh, if you're if there is any connectivity issue. You can just raise your question uh, in the chat box. Any questions for Ajinkya? Any questions for Rohit? Okay, the online classes will be starting from next week, Malish. Uh, tentatively, we will be starting from Monday onwards and you will be receiving the schedule also. Any more questions? Uh, hi, um, I have a question for Ajinke. Is it not a, a personal question? I'm yes. just asking that uh, Ajinke is working in a FPNA profile or an accounting profile? So I'm working on an FPNA profile. So uh, before getting a CMA uh, certification, you working in accounting or that time also you work in a you were working in a FPNA? No, before getting the CMA certification, I was into core accounting and some of some of it into planning. But uh, after getting a CMA certification, I moved into a core FP and a profile. So how easy to switch into a FP and a profile after getting a CMA, D CMA certification or is it difficult? I mean, how you switch into that profile? Basically, depend on how your current profile is. Uh, so earlier, what I used to do is my... Like 50, 60% job was into core accounting and then 40% was into planning and analysis part. 
but then i switched and move in, moved into a 100% fpna part uh, but uh, if it was easy for me to switch because i already had some experience into fpna but then mm-hmm. if you don't have any experience into fpna you could uh, like uh, grab some other options like uh, moving into uh, as rohit said that he, he mentioned a couple of uh, options as well like risk control like risk analyzer or uh, like a controlling manager into into that but then it, it basically depends on your whole person profile how you're going to approach that because mm-hmm. although you have a cma certification you should also have some of an fpna knowledge if you want to move into that field as well yeah. thank you so thank it, you Ajay. it opens the gate for all the opportunities within the finance for you all right mm-hmm. so it depends upon like which which field you want to choose and what kind of right. experience you have okay yeah thank you any more questions before we wrap up okay any do we have anything else also to cover no i think uh, they're all good uh, so i don't see any more questions do we have any more questions okay so okay fine so uh, in that case we can wrap up the session i would like to thank on behalf of the entire team of uplift to all of you like taking out time friday evening couple of you are residing out like outside india being a part of the session and we hope that uh, we hope to see you like so professionals who are thinking to go ahead with the uscma program we hope to see you uh soon in uplift classes and if you still possess any more questions you can reach out to your respective coordinator they'll get in touch with you and help you with your query answers so uh again wish you all the best thank you rohit uh thank yep. you ajinkya for spending um like you know your valuable time your feedback i'm sure it has uh, like uh, you know pro- provided a lot of help to all our participants and uh, thank you once again uh, for being a part of this session and last thing kalyani it's yeah. yes difficult only till the time it is not done correct correct absolutely absolutely yeah so you just need that dedication that motivation to start with it and rest we are there to take care of it yeah okay okay fine so uh shall we log out then shall we end the meeting yeah thank you yep thank you thank, thank you everyone you and again. all the very best thank you good night and happy weekend good night and happy weekend everyone